All right, we are going to make the Shepherd's Crook Crismon that has the Kai on it. And with that Crismon, you will have a kit. And in the kit are beads and a ribbon. And you will put them in a bowl, put your beads in a bowl, and set your ribbon aside for later. You will have the chenille stem, the gold chenille stem. It has one short end, one long end, and then the four small ones in the middle that create the chi. You are going to put on the shorter end of the crook 10 gold beads. So you'll go ahead and put 10 gold beads on the bottom. And once you get those on, you will bend what's a little bit that is left of the chenille stem up on that last bead. Then you are going to add 20 gold beads to the top of the long part of the gold chenille stem. And again, after you add the 20 beads, when you get to the end, you will fold back the extra gold chenille stem and you can twist it around that last bead if you want to to hold those beads on and then cut off the excess. Then you can go ahead and bend the shepherd's crook so that you are using the last two beads to create the crook. So bead number three is sort of in the center of that uh, crook out on the end. Next, you will add the pearl beads the pearl beads go on each of the four gold stems that are left that create the chi or the X. And you will put six pearl beads on each of those gold stems. And then when you get to the end, fold back the extra of the gold stem onto the last pearl bead to hold the beads on once you have completed all of the pearl beads on the, the gold chenille stem, you will then pick up the ribbon, tie it at the top of the shepherd's crook between two of the beads in the center of that crook at the top, and then pull both pieces of ribbon up and tie them around the end of your finger to create the hanger for the shepherd's crook.